Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? They'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwill. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor. But the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north. And I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world? Or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself. And one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. The Saxons and the Franks, the Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. News from France. The French political thinker and writer, the Baron de Montesquieu, has died at the age of 66. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. The Boston no, Country no, Journal. It's the world truly a nothing. shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him. 
for he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Let them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. A crime is done. A killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the Order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands. Stop. 
Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! 
I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> I'm proud of it. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? Oi! Over here, you bastard! Come on! Come on! Come on! Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. 